So brands will only come for you when they notice that on your page, your content really stands out, either by being the best, either by being the first, or either by being different. Get you able to think. You've got to be able to think, darling. So welcome to today's edition of the Yidi James vlog and I'm going to be treating a highly requested topic. Don't mind those cocks, they're definitely doing their job. In today's video we're looking at <music> beginner tips for content creators and how you can be successful as a beginner. There is room for you up there. You do not have to pressure yourself and feel like there is no room. There is room, darling. Would you believe me? And I stay around in this video. My name is Yudi James and I get to film about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and self-development. Just going to the content creation business how do i get to stand how do i get to put my feet on the ground the market feels really saturated is there even space for me as a beginner content creator all of those questions and i have one answer yes there's room for you there's room for you if you know this tips which i'm about sharing to you to become the most successful content creator that you could ever be now, this is an example I want to put across to you. You want to buy, let's see, what's coming to mind right now? Think of something you would like to buy right now. Buy an outfit. Or you want to buy this hanky right here. Yeah, I like it. Now, you want to buy this hanky right here. Is it just one person in the whole world that sells it? I bet you you could move from your house and you have store one, store two, store three, and store four selling the same hanky why didn't store two think that okay this person already is selling hanky why i shouldn't sell it anymore no if we can have store 20 sell the same handkerchief then you should know that no matter how many content creators there might be in that particular niche if you're willing to put in the work 20 can be bigger than the first person that even started in the first place you just have to be willing to put in the work and not just the work but the right work and i'll be working each other right away so let's go tip number one and how you can become a successful content creator are you ready let's get into this first thing to excel as a content creator you need to be willing to invest in your learning now before going to content creation you were doing something for me i was a presenter i still get to present all right but not in the capacity that i was doing anymore i've been a radio host for four plus years now when you were there you were willing to put in the work to become that person maybe you're a banker you are you know you're a doctor whatever it is that you're doing you put in so much work you're able to research you're able to take exams you're able to attend seminars and you became that person content creation isn't about picking the phone taking pictures or doing videos you have to be willing to invest in it. What are the courses I need to take? Do I have to take a digital marketing course? Do I have to attend seminars about this? Do I need to have someone mentor me? You need to be willing to invest in your learning. Read and read because investing your learning, you're going to know what's the current trend. How can I tap into this current trend so that I can be more accessible, more visible to the people who don't know me yet? Because the truth is, the reason why you're nervous is because the market looks already saturated. One thing about content creation is to be able to excel. Take note of those three things. You don't need to be the first. You need to be the best. If you're not the first person doing it, if you're not the best person doing it, then you have to be willing to be the different. The different in the case that everyone is doing the same way. And then you decide, you no. Know, I'm going to do the same thing, but in another way that makes you stand out. Once you're able to stand out, the audience is going to be like, who's this? Well, that's a newbie. Just like you have someone who you watch a movie for the first time and you're seeing the person is in that movie and you're like, she's good. Where has she been all this well? Well, she has a spot. So when you're willing to put in the work, when you're able to invest in your learning and know what should I do? Can I be the first? Okay. 
if I'm not the first, can I be the best? If I'm not the best, can I be different? So I stand out and I'm more appealing to my audience. Now remember the content creation, as a content creator, you are responsible for the ideation, creation, and distribution of content for a brand to the target audience. So brands will only come for you when they notice that on your page, your content really stands out, either by being the best, either by being the first, or either by being different. Yes, you can be the first to do something, you could be the best at something, or you could decide to do what every other person is doing, but in a different way. Get able to think. You got to be able to think, darling. And this takes us to tip number two. You have to be willing to engage your audience. The CTA, which is actually a call to action, you need to be sure of that all of the posts you're dishing out there, there's a call to action. You need to be able to engage with an audience. Now, usually when I get to compare an event or I need to direct a session, a successful session stems from you. The audience becomes part and parcel of what you're doing. You're not just the one who's giving out ideas. Give room for the audience to say, all right, what would you do instead? Has this happened to you before? So for instance, you wake up in the morning and you're taking a picture of, or you wake up, let's say you're, you're having difficulties to sleep. I have had a couple of days ago and I had to take a picture because I was eating around um, 1.59 a.m. And I'm like, do you have late night cravings? or early morning cravings like this, what's it for you? Mine is soy milk to get. Now, when you, you could just put the beautiful picture there and people would like, okay, this looks good. When you ask questions like that, the audience becomes a part of it. The audience feels like I'm literally leaving with this person. I know this person. So I think having to work with radio has helped me a lot because the listener needs to feel like I own you. We are a team, we're together. It's you and I against the world. Your audience, needs to engage with you to an extent that if you feel like it is you and them against the world you would need them all right so please engage your audience every post you put out there whether it's on youtube whether it's an ig whether it's on tiktok or whether it's on pinterest whatever it is let there be a call to action find out from your audience what would they do differently would they do this but once you have a call to action it sits here on every post that you put out there i guarantee you you begin to engage with your audience. Now understand that this is a process. Think of engaging with an audience like friendship. You cannot compare a friendship of one year to a friendship of 10 years because there's been a whole lot of experiences. So you need to understand that some persons are trying to understand who is she? Should I even respond? Do you get? So remember that it's going to be a process and if you keep giving out CTAs, and maybe someone you know engages your post post and then you have a way of helping the person do not give out content there and then you not try to relate to the audience no you are not the god as a matter of fact they are the gods because without your audience there is no you hope this is simple so let's move on to the next point all right tip number three i want you to understand that building community is far more important than the numbers one of the things we struggle as a new content creators is because you're trying to compare yourself to that content creator who's up there. One thing you should ask yourself is how many years did this person put into that work? How many years? Did he just fall out from the blues? No, that person could have dedicated 10, 20 years to that craft. And that's how the person is able to build the audience. It is not too late for you to begin today to build your community. And I don't care when brands come for you they're not looking at you know before i th i was thinking that you have to have like 100,000 followers you know a certain amount of subscribers but i tell you you could have 1,000 followers and there's a serious level of engagement from your audience you've built a community for yourself and a brand feels all right if i am coming to this person to promote my business to create content for me the person has an audience, a brand can smell, a brand can scent when there's love oozing out from your audience and you can't afford to miss out from that. Okay, so building a community is going to take you a while. One of the ways you can build a community is trying to go live. You could try to go live 
a week let me know if you need a video on how to go live or doing some things that will take you out of your comfort zone and one of the things is going live and the beautiful thing about going live is once you do that there's a notification i become like the first thing that all the people following you get to see all right especially on ig i really get to notice this a lot so please build a community do not look at the numbers even if you have one person two three four five six seven eight nine ten which i'm certain that you would have that it is far more better to have those people who support you and to have so many persons following you and they are not showing support it's one of the things that would decipher or one of the things that would make brands the interest in you build a community forget the numbers they will come eventually the way it's to do now right let's go back to seat number four hope you guys are enjoying the session and this is actually making a whole lot of sense let me know in the comment section if you actually enjoy this if this resonates a lot with you what did i just do c t a call to action all right let me know does this resonate with you let's go back to sheet number four. see this like let's talk when last did you post when last did you post on that page okay let's understand something we have having an online presence there could be a particular app that works for you for some persons it's ig for some persons it's youtube some persons tiktok pinterest whichever one works for you now i'm of the opinion that you should try to put yourself on all of these platforms but have one that you major in because when you have one that resonates one that you feel like your audience is responding is going to spill over to the other platforms so for instance you're leveraging on ig is going to spill over to your youtube channel if you have a youtube channel this person is going to want to like what does the live look like on a daily let me go over to ig let me go over to tiktok you know and other platforms that you might have so yes on each of these platforms how consistent are you in posting i would not be shocked if i'm coming to your page right now and i'm seeing the last time you posted was december 12 to 2022 how do you expect that a brand will take you seriously in your content creation i'm not saying post every day but be consistent in your posting and because I'm saying be consistent in your posting, it doesn't mean you should post crap. The audience would, wait, why is she dishing us this? Does she just feel we're adults? They know when you're dishing out quality content. So you need to be able to have a calendar for yourself. How often am I going to be posting? Is it going to be tries in a week? Is it going to be four times? For me, I try to post every day because content creation for me is business. Now for some, per for some persons, it might be a part-time business. I have said some persons are fully into content creation and if you have a business do you show up to your business place on monday and you do not come on tuesday wednesday it's on thursday you're coming now nah, that's 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 what I, that's what works for me it might not be what works for you depending on how your schedule is or maybe you have to respond to a particular brand depending on what you have but when you're able to plan out your content so you just know it's just to post them it's not like that's the time you're creating the content that's not the time you're editing the content and that's not the time you're posting the content it's already made so it just has a particular time wednesday morning i want to put this out wednesday evening i need to put this out when do i feel like my audience are more active so i can get to post to create engagement and engaging with your audience i'm going over to a very important point later so stick into this video so you do not get to miss out on all the points that i have for you so please be consistent Please be consistent in your posting. Consistency is key. That relates to not just in your posting, but every area of your life. For instance, when I wanted to film this morning, I woke up, I see around 12, 15, 1 a.m. there about, and I'm like, to go do a makeup right now. I was looking for my lashes, I couldn't find it. Everything was just falling apart. And just when I was about to film, it took the light. I'm like, okay, I wanted something really perfect. I wanted the lighting to be like this. But I'm going, ahead, I'm going to go ahead and work with my ring light. Do you get? That is me choosing that I'm going to be consistent because I need to be able to put a content out there on this channel by Sunday. So if it doesn't go up on Sunday, then there is a problem. That is what consistency looks like. 
and consistency is going to drive discipline once you're disciplined and you're consistent in a post it's going to show over time and that's one of the things brands are going to look out for when they come to your page okay so she's posting frequently that means when we give her a job to do she's not going to you know in Nigeria, we see fall our hands and now she look at fall our hands she'll be able to deliver do you get if you're not consistent in something that involves you what makes you think you can be consistent with something that involves others darling with this you point in mind can you be consistent in your posting maybe it's a picture it's a, it's a picture you want to put out it's a reel now IGs you already know that reels are the in thing right now and they don't have to be so serious most times they make our postings so serious let me know if you need tips on how to be able to put our content with ease it doesn't have to take so much from you anything can be content so far it has to do a review on it all right let's go back to tip number five okay okay guys okay guys <laughs> all right tip number five has to be my personal favorite of all time so okay how do you see this maybe you're already going through this pressure already so let's let's talk about it do not put a pressure on yourself to find a niche do not as a beginner content creator darling do not put pressure on yourself to find a niche because you never can tell what works for you you could put out this content and it's not doing well but that's what you really love and you can put another content and it's actually excelling and you might have to take extra class because that's what your audience needs your audience are always going to be talking to you one way or the other if you're looking at your post what you have as the outcome is for your audience speaking to you like we like this we do not like this okay so do not put pressure to find a need you could on the same then, do not make your needs so far apart. For instance, I am, uh, not for instance, rather, I'm all out of tired, you guys should bear with me. Now, I am into beauty, into fashion, into self-development, into lifestyle, but I'm putting myself as a huge to be able to create content for any brand. Because working with the radio, being a script writer and a voice of our artist, I could create content for just any brand do you get so even limiting myself by just being one place alone i'm actually putting myself in a box and i tell you when you put yourself in a box the people who want to be in that box would follow you when something happens because they never can tell and then you have to take on this stuff but it's so far away from your niche the audience are going to want to ask themselves what are we doing here this box is no longer what we signed up for. They will just. But you need to be able to try out different things. And eventually, what works for you, you go ahead. If it's a need that you know that, all right, this is what I want to do, then it's all good. But starting out and meeting immediately, it can work for some. Check. Remember I said your audience will always be talking to you. What does your post look like? Is my knitting down helping me? If it's not helping me, can I try to diversify? Can I try out something else and see if that works? And then I know for myself, this is the path that I want to take. All right? So you're having to do this and do that does not make you... You know jack of all trade and master of none no you're just experimenting the market as a beginner content creator you know when you're new and it's going like all right i really don't know what i'm going to do but let me just see let me see what this works there's always going to be something that resonates with your spirit and you know i should do this if i do this i'm definitely going to excel all right um let me know about this and i'll be sure to do a whole video on this all right let's go over to tip number six i guess yes because i'm really tired <laughs> oh my god i have the best family ever if you still yet to subscribe to my channel please show some love to your girl by subscribing dropping a comment like and share if this resonates with you okay tip number six now i absolutely love this because it took me a while now i'm one person that i could be the life of the party i could get into a second like oh my goodness what's up 
But in reality, I really just want to keep to myself. But you see, when it comes to content creation, you can never ever do it on your own. No, darling. No, darling. No man is an island. So you have to be willing to see number six. Connect to the community of creators. You are not alone. This African Creators Club, which is one of the clubs that I belong to on IG, now you're going to be able to connect with how many digital creators do we have? Who are the top five in my niche that are performing well? Or, you know, whatever niche that I see myself going in, you need to be able to follow those people. Because one thing I love about being a beginner content creator is it might seem difficult. But in actual fact, it is easy for you because someone has already created the path. All you just have to do is work in this path and be like, okay, she shouldn't have put her foot really down here. You're definitely seeing how you should go. So it makes it a lot more easier for you. You don't have to go through the stress and the pressure that person was experiencing. So what is the top five in your niche in whatever area you want to go into doing? Can I do the same thing and tweak it a little bit? That's where being the best, being the first, and being different. How many creators are you following? Because having to follow them, they'll also get to share their journey. They'll also share the fact that it isn't really as rosy as it might look there. And you're able to draw inspiration and encouragement from them. You cannot just excel if you're doing this alone. You need a support group. You need a support system. So please connect to the community of creators. You will know when there are events in your location and you try to attend, you know, and then being friends with them. It's just like you are having a friend and you know something that's going to better your friend. You're going to want to share with your friend, right? That's how being a community of content creators looks like. There's going to be a value in that spot. There's going to be information being given out and that person could share with you. That person could be like, all right, I have this gig. I have so much on my hands. Can you take it on? Do you get that something working out for you? Ask questions. Now, some persons will not respond to you. You could send a DM. Be lucky enough to meet some content creators who are up there that are actually nice because they know what it was starting out from them. This you point in mind. Can you connect with your community creators today? Please do. And I tell you the outcome will be nothing but beautiful and set you on a journey of being a successful content creator. So we have tip number six no tip number seven and i'll call it a wrap for today's video tip number seven which i have kind of said it in the first uh, one of the points there but i really want to outline is do not worry about your subscribers or your followers do not worry about what numbers you have do not worry about them have reasons why i'm seeing that you're constantly looking at the numbers. You would get this courage. You might want to stop. Now, there's one big influential figure on YouTube for me, and that is a Mr. Beast. When you hear stories of Mr. Beast, about 1,000, 1,000 videos before he got the success he had, you ask yourself, why did he keep going when he had every reason to quit? Now, those videos you're putting out there, might not gain the traction you might not get the numbers that you want but you never can tell all it takes is just one video darling one experience and it will just change the outcome everyone has every successful content creator today has that one video that put them out there in the limelight and someone's going to be like where has she been where has it been all my life and then they go over to watch the other videos that you put out there same thing with the brands, the C one, are like, okay, we wanted to go with this person, but this newbie right here looks different. You know when something is new, like, you know, when a man wants to marry a new wife, somehow that new wife feels like she's everything that the old wife, older wives do not have. So it's the same thing in content creation, you're like, you, you're just new, so you have so much of this energy, this vibe, I mean, you didn't have the funds and you want to get this. So you're going to be putting all you have. So darling, do not look at the numbers. Why are you into content creation in the first place? Let's start from there. Why are you into it? You love this. You, want, you don't want to make money from it. I want to make the money too. 
So if you choose to give up, because maybe the numbers are not going up at this point in time, you'll be losing out big time. It could be, it could happen for you this year. It could happen for you next year. But consistency is key. And one thing I love about consistency, it pays off over time. If and only if you do not quit. Do I have someone who's saying, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep showing up every single moment that I'm required to show up. And I know that it's going to pay up. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section. And then last but not the least tip, a bonus tip for me to become a successful content creator in 2023 is darling, be yourself. Be yourself. Every other person is taken. Now, do not confuse being yourself to not make you do things that you would not do on a normal maybe has to do because content creation involves acting and all of that you need to be able to step out of your comfort zone and do some things but you being you you being authentic why is this word fine difficult authentic being real you know authentic authentic i don't know <laughs> this is it this is it. You have to be you. You have to be willing to make your mistakes. And only oh, darling, they are my mistakes. I'm cool with them. I'm going to get better. Be you. Be authentic. And the fact that you're cute, people just love upon your personality. People just want to be like, oh my goodness, this is so real. There's a whole lot of fake out there. Be you. And the right people, the right people that God is going to send to you would come for you. Okay? Do not want to become someone else. That the audience loves that person and when they see someone trying to act like another person like okay she wants to that doesn't mean that you cannot see someone you admire like okay fine i think i can do this i think i can do that but being you your fingerprints are the only one on planet earth no one has the same thing with you so the same thing your content creation as much as you're going to learn from a b c and d let's not miss the you and you because that is special that is original that cannot be found anywhere. And for you, darling, the world will come for you. All right, has this video been a blessing? Has this video been helpful? Let me know in the comment section and subscribe because I have so many other videos. This is actually my first content creation tip. Um, um, as a long video on YouTube, and I feel like I really want to do this for you more and more. So let me know if you like this by commenting down there in the comment section and watch out for more videos that I have in store for you. I am certain that in a month from now, in a year from now, yes, in a year, because I'm someone who's super positive. For some persons, it could be years, depending if it's part-time, full-time. Um, I think there's other video I'm thinking about, you know, going to content creation as a side hustle and not a full-time, I could also create something around that for you because working as a radio host, working as a content creator, there's a whole lot I picked from there. <laughs> yes, darling. All right, on that note, we come to the end of this video. Thank you so very much for staying till this number of minutes, whatever it is that we have here. But I believe so much in you and I know that in months, in a year, in a couple of time, I'm going to look at you and be like, what happened? You're like, I was consistent and paid up over time. You will become a successful content creator because there's peace up there in the sky. It is not saturated. There is room for you today. There's room for you tomorrow. And there's room for you the day after that. Thank you. Love, love. And keep watching the Beauty James vlog. Catch you guys. Ah, hey. But I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm super tired right now. I just want to say in a prayer because lately I've been feeling so weak at night. I don't know if anyone has experienced that. I just get so weak. I think it was a one time thing of me being stressed. And so I took smooth, smooth rather to feel better. But it's becoming a thing. And tomorrow I'm going to be taking tons of fruits to feel better maybe it's a loss of blood or something i don't know oh.
god i don't really want to film this moment because i have to get out this content i just want you guys to see behind the scene and know what it really looks like like yep this is the real world <laughs> okay let's let's go back into what i have to do right now because someone needs this you know as a content creator when you get really tired and you don't want to do something just remember that someone could do well with that information then lock it in <laughs> 